Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. We have terrific scenes in front of us at the Estadio do Dragao, one of the biggest venues in Portugal. has got the juices flowing and now this Plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. And that gets things running. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Of course, Antoine Griezmann. He's got a bit of everything, Peter. Speed, great technical ability, and the priceless gift of being able to make all the right decisions at the right times. Personally, I really like the way he can always take a little touch to give himself that half a yard of space. He needs to get a shot away, and he doesn't miss too many either, does he? Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. Griezmann. Forward it goes. Good challenge, he just stood firm. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Jean Moutinho. Nelson Semedo. And it's Xiao Moutinho. Can take with a good steal, well played. Conte. France have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy. Oh, Mbappe has a shot! That's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Played out to the right. It's the through ball. Nicely controlled. The referee's awarded a free kick. Nicely done. <laughs> P 
Portugal take the lead. Well, that's the currency he deals in, and he's come good yet again. Never the one to let you down in these situations. Joao Moutinho plays it forward. He's got away. Ronaldo not easily shrugged off the ball. Pavard. Griezmann. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Jean Moutinho. Nelson Semedo. Oh, good interception. And out to safety. Ruben Diaz. Hoists it forward. And it's Jean Moutinho. Mbappe. And the weighted pass, dinked in. Referee's had a good look and given a corner. Bernardo Silva, Bruno Fernandes, Bruno Fernandes drives it forward, and that's been lever clear, we get a throw in, Bernardo Silva delivers, He acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Ah, oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Guerrero. Lovely bit of skill there. Guerrero plays it in. Pressure stays on, it is a corner. Benzema tries to get it forward quickly. Conte. Pavar. Benzema. Out of play for a goal kick. Ruben Diaz, Guerrero, and it's half time here. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but that it still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. I'm sure Portugal leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments and it's 1 0 at the break. The game has already resumed here. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Hernandez. Hernandez puts his foot on the gas. Fires it in low. Mbappe! He has done it! France are back on level terms. Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens.
That has certainly made things interesting. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked, and uh, I still haven't moved. Ruben Diaz. Guerrero. Bruno Fernandes. And here's Andre Silva. Andre Silva spreads it towards the left. Looking for a decent ball in. Guerrero pumps it into the area. And it's Bernardo Silva. Oh, shooting chance! Just a whisker away. Ruben Diaz. Pepe. An equaliser that's put the cat amongst the pigeons now, and the fact that it's arrived early in the second half makes for an intriguing watch to come. They'll be very annoyed with themselves for that. Oh, great run, magical! Semedo, not one to pass up the chance to run up the defence. He loves those duels. Well, that was a mini show of self-confidence. It may spark another try or, or another trier. Mbappe. Tolisso. It's Griezmann! Just sails past the upright. Oh, and it's such a good effort. Maybe the target really should have been hit. Bruno Fernandes. Pogba battles to win it back. And it's played forward. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Nelson Semedo. Bernardo Silva. And here's Andre Silva. Bruno Fernandes. Lovely feet. Chance to cross here. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Keeper sends it forward. And it's Pogba. France merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. And here's Andre Silva, Bruno Fernandes. That is terrific skill. Time to deliver. Oh, the referee's got a decision to make here. What's he going to give? No, the referee's judged that the offence took place outside the area. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Benzema. France showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. It's one. Goal! Portugal! Into 
the lead once more. Well, I think there's a few trying to claim offside, but he looks to have been on. Yeah, he was on. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. <laughs> Portugal take the lead. Surprise, surprise, he just keeps on delivering and, listen, we all expect that. Tolisso. Almost there and the players can feel it. Bruno Fernandes goes looking. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. throw we have got changes here from both sides in fact yeah he's run himself into the ground hasn't he and it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real on a shift ball. who's gonna get in there Ruben Nevers gets it back Benzema this official showing that there will be three minutes of added time Havar And that is that. Oh, whatever the shortcomings on either side, it was a great game to watch. Just one between them. Portugal leave it late, but in the end, it was great.